welcome back to the channel welcome back to the vibe crazy chef yours truly thank you for subscribing to the channel thanks for subscribing to the vibe today i'm making a ital stew it's a good thing for if you're trying to lose some weight good thing if you're just trying to eat healthy so i put various amount of beans in my Instapot and I just hit the bean chili mode and we let that go. In my pan, I put some curry powder, some carrots, some scallions, some onions, some garlic, a little bit of thyme, and I'll saute that up. So we saute that up and I'm gonna add two cups of coconut milk. Two cups of coconut milk then I'm gonna make that reduce then I'm gonna add a couple more cups of hot water and we just gotta let that vibe so coconut milk in that boil reduce a little bit add two cups of water and some pumpkin so we add some chopped pumpkin and we're just gonna let that boil let that simmer and let it catch that vibe. Then I'm gonna add like a, I'm gonna add a couple pieces of ripe plantain and that's gonna help with the pumpkin to give it that salty, sweetie taste. You can add salt, but I'm not adding any salt because uh, in the Rastafarian culture, they don't add salt, so I'm not adding salt, but you can add salt if you want. All the flavors, all the spices, the coconut, it should give you that vibe. So, scotch bonnet pepper in. Let that boil. And then I'm gonna add my beans. So various amount of beans. You can choose whatever beans you like. So various amount of beans, throw that in and we let that simmer and the longer you simmer is the better it's not good to boil the longer you simmer the better so we let that simmer and we just let it simmer let it simmer let it simmer uh, what's gonna happen is because you use a variety of beans some of the beans gonna be smashed some's gonna be a little hard some's gonna be a little soft and that's how you get that vibe so soon as all your beans or is fully cooked and your sauce gets a little thick that's when you know it's ready and you can just taste the goodness this is the rastaman rastaman big rastaman dish i'm gonna add frozen okras because i don't have fresh okras it's better to use fresh okras but i don't have fresh okras this time of year so i'm using frozen okras and Put your okras in and you just let it simmer. As I said, don't boil. Let it simmer and so good. It looks so good. You can eat it. It's best to eat it by itself, but you can eat it with some rice, some dumplings. I mean, you can use a little piece of bread, get it in there, but that the sauce is unbelievable. Crazy Chef, hit that like button if it's your first time here hit that red subscribe button. If you've never had Ital stew before, I mean, leave me a comment, let me know if you've ever had Rastafarian food. It's, I mean, Rastafarian food is a little bit different from Jamaican food. It is Jamaican food, but Rastafarian, they cook different. So let me know in the comment section if you've ever had Rastafarian food. 